when nearly 900,000 kids lived on farms during 2014, with more than half of them working on the operation. Today, we highlight important safety practi practices for children in agriculture during National Farm Safety and Health Week. And joining us now is Progressive Agriculture Safety Day Program CEO Brian Keel. Brian, thanks for taking the time to chat with us again. What are some of the key safety tips that come to mind for kids when you're talking about being on the farm? Yeah, safety is, is so important on the farm, whether, you know, it's it's safety around machinery, safety around chemicals. Um, there's just such a, a wide range of safety topics that, that we present and, and teach kids all across the United States at one of our progressive agriculture safety days. Um, ultimately, you know, farm farm and farming is generally safe, but it is work and it's dangerous work. And that's what we want to make sure that kids are aware of. Uh, as they're on the farmstead, around that equipment, uh, even if they live on the farm or if they just visit a farm once in a while. Based on statistics from the National Children's Center for Rural and Agriculture Health and Safety, we know that every day 33 children are injured in a farm-related incident, and every three days a child is killed. And the majority of these children involved in these incidents are not working on the farm at the time of the incident. So, again, we want to focus on how do we create that awareness to children about the dangers of being on a farm. And we try to do that through the Progressive Egg Safety Days, whether these kids live on the farm or if they just occasionally visit a farm or a nursery or a pumpkin patch occasionally, um, you know, to really make them view it as a workplace and not as just a wide open playground. So, Brian, how does the Progressive Egg Safety Day work? I mean, are you helping uh, folks maybe provide training? Yeah, so uh, Progressive Agriculture Safety Day, it's a day-long activity-filled safety education event for elementary school age kids. Um, we take kids in groups and move them from station to station, and they participate in a variety of hands-on activities. Again, focusing on, on all these different types of safety topics, fire safety, electrical safety, ATV, tractor safety, um, you know, a whole wide range. All of those focused on rural and farm life. And what the program does is it allows children, adults, parents, and teachers to learn about that safety on the farm, safety in the home, safety at school, you know, things that can help keep themselves safe, their friends safe, and their families safe. And we try to do it in a way that it engages the kids. So we make it hands-on. We make learning fun. And this year, uh, the Progressive Ag Safety Day program will be held in over 400 rural communities across the United States and Canada and will reach somewhere in the neighborhood of 100,000 individuals. Well, it sounds like a great program. Well, for more information on that program, go online to progressiveag.com. Again, talking with Progressive Agriculture Safety Day Program CEO Brian Keel joining us on the phone today from Hudson, Wisconsin.